this week on Common Sense. Remember last spring's dramas surrounding the automatic tolls for truckers that were supposed to pay for the bonds, that were supposed to pay for critical highway and bridge repair? They're back. Are you kidding me? This week, Kathy Gregg, writing in the Providence Journal, detailed the behind-the-scenes machinations underway throughout the summer as the Raimondo administration lines up behind auto tolling. With a Senate-passed version of the proposal waiting for action in the House, all eyes are on Speaker Nick Mattiello. To apply pressure to the Speaker to bring up, highway, bring up the highway tolling plan during a proposed special session in the fall, a PR firm has been hired and a substantial advertising campaign has been planned to promote the idea. The administration has also retained the services of Regional Economic Models Incorporated, REMI, of Amherst, Massachusetts, to do an economic study they hope will prove the need for the tolling legislation. Uh, does that mean the governor specified the outcome of the study she's just committed, commission? And where does that money come from? Mm -hmm. The executive branch has also retained Providence PR firm RDW to monitor the pulse of social media and prepare formal testimony supporting the plan for delivery to the House by DOT officials. Then too, the governor's team convened a meeting last week of the construction companies and labor unions who might do the work. At that conference, attendees were told they would each be expected to pony up more than $100,000 to fund the ad campaign to sell all this to the voters. It's not certain that any of them will make that payment. If any do, though, uh, do you think your company could beat them in a, the bidding process for any subsequent work on roads or bridges? To me, this all smells like panic, and that's a shame because our own representative, Patricia Morgan, had a perfectly good plan on the table during the last session to pay as we go for the needed road work. Too bad it was shouted down when she tried to introduce it. The reason is simple, though. Morgan's plan had no bonding trough for insiders to feed at, no need for favored consultants to present emergency invoices, and way too much simplicity to ever qualify as a Rhode Island initiative. Are you kidding me? Join us on Verizon Channel 34 or Cox Channel 15. Saturdays at 4 p.m. and Sunday at 10 a.m. Find us on Facebook at Common Sense and on Twitter at, at Common Sense RI.